Welcome. It has come to my attention that you out there, you want more actionable intel. More alpha. Well, you've been heard. The show you used to know as First Look has now been transmogrified into a fire-breathing monster of a... Okay, not really. We decided we'd rather cover more interesting projects in one go or a genuinely interesting catalyst-driven piece of intel. So, First Look has now become... Hot Stuff. And today we're covering a potential 450% APY on the Silo token. Sound interesting? Well, hold on long enough for a quick sponsor message and I'll give you the lowdown. Future is the new frontier of crypto investments. It's a DeFi platform that creates crypto indices and automatically manages the assets so investors like you don't have to. Investing in crypto can be daunting and having to track multiple assets, timing the volatility, navigating gas costs can make it very difficult to make the right bets. But if you believe the wide crypto space or a specific sector will grow in five years time and don't want to place your money in just a few assets, Future is the right investment for you. Future's first indices are launching in a few weeks and very soon you'll be able to invest directly through Future or by using your favorite DEXs. Subscribe and be one of the first to access the future indices. So here's the chunky bit. Silo Finance has been buying a very hefty stash of CVX tokens worth around 4.41 million recently. And this will likely lead to two things happening. Firstly, the Silo Frax Pools APY will spike to the heavens and the Silo token itself will head rapidly north as demand increases to capture that monster APY. But let's backtrack for a second. Why do these CVX tokens matter so much? Well, when we say CVX, we mean Convex, which has become the front line of the Curve Wars. And it's the platform for tokenizing vote escrowed Curve tokens to earn yield, but without having to lock your tokens. CVX is the governance and yield farming token of Convex Finance. So the Curve system allows VE, that's vote escrow CRV holders, to vote how CRV inflation is distributed by assigning weights to each pool's gauge. Now, as a holder of VECRV, Convex Finance can participate in these voting procedures, and these voting rights themselves are passed to the vote locked CVX holders. Now, the more CVX tokens you possess, the greater the boost, the greater the APY, the greater the liquidity, and basically, money sniffs bananas. Opportunities and bets accordingly. And that is exactly what Silo will be doing with their recently acquired 250,000 CVX tokens. They posted a gauge proposal for the Silo Frax pool on the Curve Governance Forum. And in the voting round, which is starting tomorrow, Silo's treasury aims to direct all of its voting power, all of it, to the Silo Frax pool. And that means that the APY will jump to what we're thinking is an estimated 450%, but that of course depends on the TVL. In 2021, Ethereum traders lost over $200 million to malicious bots exploiting their trades. As DeFi continues to gain popularity, this number is expected to rise. Eden Rocket RPC is a next generation private transaction service for Ethereum, providing traders with MEV protection by submitting transactions directly to miners and away from the prying eyes of harmful bots. Using Eden Network for Ethereum transactions results in better and safer trades. While MEV protection doesn't require any stake, traders who do stake Eden and use the Eden RPC on MetaMask receive transaction block priority, and now with the release of Staker Extractable Value, or SEV, they're paid for every trade they make on Ethereum. Eden Rocket RPC compiles some of Ethereum's fastest private transaction networks, resulting in a 90% plus effective hash rate. And this makes Eden Rocket RPC the fastest private transaction network available, protecting you from bots. On top of that, Eden Rocket RPC users are paid to trade on Ethereum. Join the best and get started with Eden Network today to trade safer. DeFi protocol XToken has recently launched XToken Terminal, the capital markets platform for Web3. Terminal aims to offer DeFi and NFT projects seamless access to fundamental on-chain primitives. The first feature app on Terminal, Mining, is a permissionless and no-code solution for deploying liquidity mining campaigns on Uniswap v3. Rather than spending weeks of development time deploying and configuring contracts or building a custom interface, projects can use Terminal to launch an LM program in a matter of minutes. Mining offers a robust UI and a flexible, configurable, and feature-rich contract architecture. Terminal also makes mining easy for liquidity providers 
with an intuitive end-to-end -end experience. Terminal will continue to roll out apps aimed at offering projects seamless, permissionless access to complex DeFi primitives. For more info, visit the Terminal website and follow along on Twitter. So why on earth is all of this interesting, I hear you asking? Well, Silo is a non-custodial lending protocol to borrow any crypto asset with another. They want to bring secure lend borrow markets to all tokens in the same way Uniswap brought liquidity pools to thousands of tokens. And this means you'll be able to use any token as borrow collateral. Yeah. Unlike other, every borrow lend pair in Silo will be isolated. Imagine this skin just wrapping it up like that. This means you prevent contagion risk. Now this enables any asset to be used as collateral, all using a common pool asset, initially ETH, but later there'll be USD stablecoins as well. And what's interesting about Silo is that they won the 2021 ETH hackathon and the team oh, is pretty well regarded and they are backed by some heavy hitters such as Sam Kazimian, the founder of, yes, you guessed it, Frax. Now what makes it interesting is that Silo basically opted for building a deep market liquidity for Silo through their CRV emissions as opposed to incentivizing with Silo tokens alone. So they're kind of offsetting the need to pay big APY to CRV instead of their own native and precious token. So by using their voting power to vote for CRV emissions to their pool, those CRV emissions will serve as the incentive for liquidity providers to add Silo liquidity to farm CRV tokens, and you get this feedback loop. So what are the risks here? <laughs> yeah, it's pure ape. God damn it. Chasing three-figure APIs is risky, just like eating a banana on camera. No matter the caliber of a team or the project, even accounting for the increased robustness afforded by those CVX tokens. And no, this isn't me recommending anything. This isn't financial advice. We just spotted it and thought it really stood out amongst the garbage farms and nonsense pools out there. So that's it for this very first edition of Hot Stuff. Do drop any interesting ones you spot to YYC in the Discord channel, link below. And if you found this helpful and want to see more, then get subscribed in it. I'm off to pour this entire bottle of Tabasco into my eyeballs. Peace. As you'd expect, that's not very nice. Here. Oh! <laughs>